Hi, this is Paul from the Best Sports Blog. Today we're going to be talking about boxing and Paul Williams, who is, of course, the boxer who sadly was paralyzed um, a little bit ago in May, which was a very sad motorcycle accident. And I wanted to reflect on it a little bit, not because it's news, but because uh, there were a few friends of mine who were sort of doubting Paul Williams' accomplishments and saying that, well, it was tragic what happened. You know, he was a uh, He's sort of a middling boxer, and I really wanted to dispel that notion and talk a little bit about, you know, why Paul Williams' motorcycle accident isn't just a tragedy, you know, for people, but in general, but it's also a tragedy for boxing, because it got, it lost, boxing really lost one of its most talented fighters, and I really wanted to go over again why. Williams is always one of my favorites, and uh, I know he's a favorite of a lot of you fans, so I just wanted to, you know, go through that. Williams, for a long time, if everyone remembers, in um, 07, 08, 09, even up through 2010, was really known as possibly the best boxer in the world at that time. Obviously, Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather were bigger names, but a lot of people felt like Paul Williams' mix of skills and size made him the actual best boxer at that time. Um, in 2007, he beat Antonio Margarito, uh, unanimous decision. That was at the height of Margarito's powers, of course, after he was found to have doctored his gloves and basically thrown out of boxing and came back. He was never the same fighter, but 2007 was his height. And then Williams also beat Winky Wright, and he beat Sergio Martinez, who's still currently known, even at 36, as the third best boxer in the world. Uh, up until his loss to Sergio Martinez, his second fight, Williams was, had only had one loss, which was an unexpected decision defeat to Carlos Quintana, who he ended up beating. Uh, in the very next fight. So a lot of people felt like he had been basically unbeaten. Uh, of course, his career took a little bit of a, a sad turn after he was knocked out cold by Martinez in the second round. It shows, you know, really what one good punch can do to a boxing fighter's career because Williams was never quite the same after that. Although he was making something of a comeback. He had beaten Eris Landy Lara and Nobuhiro Ishida um, and was looking to get another big fight. And at 41-2, and two, if he had managed to have one more really big win, he really could have recatapulted his career to another level uh, and possibly been that guy to finally get the match with one of the big names. But, of course, unfortunately, his accident happened, and now we're going to have to always sort of remember what might have happened. But Williams definitely had a lot of accomplishments, and uh, I'd love to hear everybody's comments on what they thought of Williams as a fighter, what his contributions were to boxing, and uh, really where he ranks amongst his contemporaries. Because at the same time, you know, that we think about the tragedy, we really want to think about also the great things that he did and how important he was to the sport. So definitely leave your comments and check out this article on the subject that's below uh, in the description. It's a really good article on Paul Williams, and uh, you should check it out. Thanks, everybody.